So I got emailed a plugin by the developer himself. Uh, Daniel is his name. And it looked quite interesting. So that's why I'm making this video. So the plugin I want to talk about is Sketch Cassette, um, which is a cassette simulation and the interface is a sketch. As we can see over here. Oh wait, now it's zooming. Uh, oh yeah, this is the user interface. It's literally drawn, which is cool. Inspired by four track cassette recorders, Sketch Cassette is designed to introduce a wide array of lo-fi tape effects into your mixes from a subtle warble to unearth it from the attic destruction. Sketch Cassette is your one-stop shop for anything and everything cheap tape. Includes age modeling, saturation, highly adjustable wall and flutter, dropouts, <laughs> dropouts, tape hiss, <laughs> tape type frequency profiles, noise reduction, encoding, compression. Okay, yeah. Developed by Aberrant DSP with R&D assistance from G Arch. I okay. Noise reduction, encoding, compression. Okay, interesting. Technical info. It will run on my machine. We've got some reviews, but you're watching for mine. It's actually not a lot of info, so they're not promising a lot. So one thing that I want to tell about cassettes, this is my own vision uh, about cassette tape. There are some things going over the internet about about cassettes, cassette, cassettes, cassette. That the resolution of the tape is can be compared to 8-bit recordings. 8-bit, 6-bit, 9-bit, you know, so, something around that. Th there are some things about that going on over the internet, and I do not agree. So a cassette tape has a really low dynamic range, as in the level in which you have to work, so the noise floor and the clipping, uh, uh, or the maximum peaks that it can record, is really small. But that doesn't mean that the area in between there is 8 bits. Well, for a computer it would be 8 bits, but there is an unlimited resolution in between there because it's analog. And analog can go on for maybe 100 numbers behind the comma. With 8 bits you cannot. So I don't agree on that one, but that, that's a small in between for this. Because we're now going to switch to my usual video again, which is testing out the plugin with a track from Darude called Sandstorm. Oh, that's already interesting. Hiss. Wow. So we're getting the hiss by default. It's a long time ago that I listened to cassette tape.
surprisingly useful, actually. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Or, well, maybe sometimes it comes from, from corners where you're not expecting it from. But this is... Like, I wasn't... Like, first of all, the, the user interface was funny. That that was actually the reason why I wanted to review it. Because it's, it's, it's a sketch user interface. But while using it, it doesn't matter. Like, it works super efficient. I, <laughs> I like their creativity on this one. It's it's not in, in any way or form uh, annoying me and um, the user interface. Not at all. That's that's really interesting. I think because of the simplicity of the sketch, but also the simulation they did on the on the tape is is it really reminds me of. I mean, there's there's some truth to the to the to the cassette um, sound. Although it's a long time ago that I listened to tape in in this form. Like I listen to tape every day with my telefunken, but not not this. So end conclusion. I think it's just a cool plugin. It's just it's just funny, cool. I think it does a better job at tape simulations than some of the ones that are actually made to simulate professional tape machines. Apart from that, I think it's just just a cool gimmick. A cool gimmick which is higher on quality than you would expect. That's a cool way to say this. It sells for $20. There's no demo from it, so you have to do it with what I've just shown you. But yeah, $20 is also an easy amount to spend on, on something that you want to try. Like, So it's up to you if you want to try it or not. And yeah, if you have tried it or if you already have it, I would love to hear what you guys think of it. So let me know that in the comment section below underneath this video. I will also put a link in the description under this video as well to Aberrant DSP where you can check out this plugin. So if you like this video, let me know this with a thumbs up. If you liked it even more, consider pledging to my Patreon campaign. I will link it over here. It helps me a lot if you do it. And I will try to give some help back and some content back. And I try. If you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. For all the content of me, I will link one of the videos over here. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing and bye bye.